We, last night, our U.S. forces conducted uh, precision strikes in eastern Syria against two facilities that are used by uh, Iran's IRGC and affiliated groups. U.S. admits to airstrikes on facilities in eastern Syria used by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and Iran-affiliated militias. This marks the third time in three weeks that U.S. has targeted facilities in the region in Syria in response to attacks on American forces based in Iraq and Syria. According to reports, Pentagon officials said that fewer than a dozen Iran-backed militia personnel were present at the bomb sites and it was likely some were killed in the attack. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said in a statement that the strikes were conducted against a training facility and a safe house near the Syrian cities of Abu Kamal and Mayadin. In its defense, the United States further added that its forces in Iraq and Syria have been attacked at least 48 times since October 17th and at least 56 U.S. service members have been injured. The U.S. maintains presence in Iraq with 2,500 troops and 900 in Syria. The troops help local forces fight what's left of the Islamic State in the region. These attacks from Iran-backed militias have intensified ever since the Israel-Hamas war broke out on October 7th. The US has been sending military assets to the Middle East since then in order to prevent a wider conflict. With Vishal Vivek, NDTV Bureau Report.